Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, kind of cooled off outside, you know, it's the fall. I think I posted a little video the other day about walking out back at uh, how picturesque it was with all the leaves falling and and the uh, drainage slough back there and, and how, how nice it was. Okay, you guys, uh, what's... Uh, Okay, we're gonna work on the. Uh, we're gonna work on the uh, pin that I've been working on here. There's a. I made a mold of this pin. Econo silk mold. I showed a uh, pack in it there. Oh, I think it was a video a little while back. Back in this mold, I think it was quite nice. Better double check. I've, I've done several of these over the last year. They're very popular. This stuff, you can't reuse it. Once it's been in the mold and heated up, just throw it away. Trim off the excess. <sighs> okay, so what you want to do you want to make a nice parting, a parting line, right? It it just gives the mold a professional look, right? And then you got to cut these tabs into the corners. So that's that. So, so let's put some work glasses on. And you want that cut to be, oh, I don't know, millimeter... A little more than a millimeter deep. <laughs> now, if you remember, I put an X where I wanted my sprue to go. And I see the actual piece right there. It moved a little bit. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started here. Let's just cut the tab in the corner. Remember, these tabs don't need to be huge, right? They just gotta lock the piece into place. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> 
どうだTab in the corner here. That's coming along nicely. Now remember, we we put this away with the sprue. We make it a mold of it with the sprue in it. You see I'm bringing the knife up to to the um, to the parting line that I had made. Okay, that's not going to come out yet. It's still catching there. There we go. So now that you bring that out, you can see you want to be in the middle of these things. Okay, look at that. So the air goes out. This moved. I wanted it more or less in the middle like this, and it moved. Now that happens, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Just make a little tiny hole in here. So we'll see what that cut's like. We'll see what that's like. Remember, take less out your first cuts if you're not too sure, because you can't put it back, but you can always cut more out if you want. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna dust this. Should be good. Yep. Okay, so you see how that went. And that's gonna fit together real nice. And we're gonna put some talcum powder on that. And we're gonna try injecting a wax. Okay. Let's just try injecting a wax without doing any holes to it or anything like that. And so I can show you that. Okay, so let's get some air going. Uh, 
You don't want to overdo it. Just 15 pounds for this. Oh, no. Look at that. Sorry, you guys. What the heck happened there? Huh. I don't really want to edit it because I want you to see it from literally cutting it to tel telking it without uh, interruption so that you can see how it worked. I mean, you're... So, I guess, you know, there's some days that things go a little bit more smoothly than others. Today, it just didn't go that smoothly. Um, nine minutes to cut a mold. Wow. Cheers. Cafe crumb with a little bit of, with that almond beverage. Now, I think I've explained that before about the um, the color of the wax. I think something's going on in the bottom of the wax pot where I, I, hmm. Sometimes the first one to come out is the toughest. Me pulling it out, I just broke a little piece off of here. But look at how nice that wax turned out. Right, very usable. Very usable silicone mold. Okay. I don't really see any problems with this. It's uh, that's just fine. Oh my god. Okay, 15 year, new 15 year pointed pin. Okay, so that, this video now is uh, oh, 13 minutes long, I think it is. So I think that might be, I'm gonna do a, a close up picture of the wax. Maybe we'll, uh, Inject one more. And I'm gonna get up this time and line up the hole a bit better because I think I, I messed up there, right? And we have to turn on some air. I gotta finish this one off. I gotta set diamonds in there. Maybe I'll be in my next video. I'm gonna set diamonds in the 15. Should be nice. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get it onto the uh, nozzle properly. See how that didn't even. Not all these waxes turn out. Okay, but it it is a very successful mold. Okay. All right, you guys. Hey, uh, reach out to a friend. Make sure you uh, ch check on all your old buddies, your old pals. Make sure everybody's doing okay. Uh, what else? Uh, check on your farm animals. They sure love it this time of the year when they get a little bit of uh, extra flake of hay. I, I brought them out some at lunch. I fed them, feed them in the morning, uh, feed them at lunch a little bit. This time of the year, it gets, you know, it's nice. And then again, at oh, 05.30, six o'clock I'm going to feed them again another flake of hay um, you just want them to have their energy right because it is cold so you guys uh, if you like what I'm doing hit the subscribe button hit the like button make a comment uh, tell me that I need to be doing something a different way or or, or if you'd like to see something done uh, let me know okay you guys uh, and uh, there's no pippy and tippy I left them in the house I, I they just it's too cold to be out Okay, you guys, have a great afternoon.
See how nice that wax turned out? And besides that one little spot there where it was, uh, where's my thumb? Right there where I broke it. It did just fine. Look at that. The years shirt turns out nice. Everything. Great, great uh, uh, Kono sil silicone mold. And uh, another pin to add to the collection. Okay? So this is why you own a farm. Look in the background. Way in the back. There's a horse, Lisa, some goats, a dog, some water. Look at how picturesque that is. Wow. Okay, you guys, try to have a good day. Do you reach out to somebody today? Do you give them a call? Or go for lunch? Are you doing something you like? All right. Be kind to your farm animals. Otherwise, don't have them.